But in Philippines, you eat first of all when you wake up, you eat. That one is not included in the meal. Yeah. <laughs> eat breakfast they don't miss breakfast they don't miss it. and they are good generous in sharing their food yeah. uh -huh. they have mineral uh, mirianda that mirianda. one mm -hmm. they call it mirianda so <laughs> hi lovelies welcome back again to another video in today's video i'm super excited because we have a special guest on our channel the guest is so so special as you are seeing him he's He's a godfather in this country. He's one of the oldest Nigerians here in the Philippines. And um, he's a father, he's an uncle, he's a husband. A lot of people have really benefited from the grace of God upon his life. And he's also a pastor. He's my senior, senior colleague. He's a nurse. He has masters. In fact, I'll just allow him to introduce himself to you guys. Please, sir, can you do us the honor of introducing yourself to our viewers? Hi, viewers. Okay. I am Ngozi Blessing Ngozu, a Nigerian and uh, residing here in the Philippines. I've been uh, in this country, Philippines, for on 25th of January, maybe 13 years. Yeah. <laughs> so, they say, yeah, some persons that are here studying, they are still babies as at the time you came to the Philippines. <laughs> yes, yeah, so maybe some people that time uh, are, are not born. Uh, maybe are not born <laughs> and possibly some are in elementary school. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, uh, of course, I pastor, of course, uh, and uh, a nurse by profession. He's just not that. just a nurse, <laughs> he has gotten his master's, he has got your PhD, mm -hmm. he has gotten PhD all from this country. He has, in fact, he's, he's a godfather in this country. A lot of persons came to the Philippines through him and more are still coming. So in today's video, I'm going to be asking him questions concerning the visa. There was one video I put up some weeks ago about um, they're making it blog that got their visa, permanent residence visa here in the Philippines. I was wild when I saw that video because you can hardly hear search that foreigner got permanent residence visa if you are not married to a Filipino or a Filipina. So on today's video is going to be enlightening us more on that. But before we dive right into that video, I would like to ask you, sir, how was um, studying nursing in the Philippines like? So the time you studied nursing here? Yeah. That was uh, 2009. So it wasn't easy, actually. It was really difficult because I happened to be um, a foreigner. And of course, my skin as well have to tell a lot. And also in the nursing um, department, it was really difficult because I found it hard to cope to the point that I just made the decision that I need to do this. Those days, I cannot say there is uh, too much of uh, racism because the people really accepted me and I was like uh, an eye for so many of them and initially it was somehow because uh, not to blow trumpet anyway because if you are not doing well in your school in the class nobody will value you nobody will look at in fact you will become uh, who is this one say That's true. Uh, but once you take your exams and the test uh, quiz and all that and they will ask you what is your grade and you are able to tell it and uh, it's something oh you will become they will begin to look at you oh, you can even uh, make it you are good and all that so we became friends and uh, most of them used to come to my house my apartment and we eat we cook 
So they were actually curious to learn about Africa. And so I wouldn't say it is all about difficulties, but the only thing is I happen to be a stranger that people are, we are like staring at me so many times, who is this person? I, in the class, I'm the only black. In fact, the entire Muslim department, I'm the only black, I'm the only male black that is studying nursing then. But I enjoy it. <laughs> he finished from my school. While I was in school, my instructor, some of them that taught him, they were always asking after him. And that was when I knew he was the only foreigner as at the time he schooled in my school. And from what I heard, I think you are the first um, Nigerian mm. to study nursing in my department. Yeah, sure. Kudos to you, sir. <laughs> that <laughs> I know he is a godfather. A lot of persons have been benefiting from him. And this man you are seeing here, he's so humble and he's so, so wise. Like, his wisdom. I don't know as God they give only and that wisdom, but a lot of persons have really benefited from him and they are still, we are still benefiting from him. He's a father, I tell you, to many, to many in this country. So, sir, um, another thing I want to know, as at the time you came to the Philippines, long, long time ago, what was the exchange rate like? Truly, uh, this time around we talk about exchange rate like uh, uh, Naira to Peso, but that time it was actually dollar to Peso. So depending on what dollar rate is, that is what we get here. That time, um, $100 is equivalent to 40 Pesos and 41 Pesos. It, it have it really stayed in that range for more than three years I've been here so uh, we came I came with ATM anyway MasterCard so we are making we use it to make a withdrawal that time until after some time the charges of uh, ATM skyrocketed so was actually looking for a means because truly uh, I can tell you we uh, we were about three Nigerians. One was uh, in a pharmacy. Another one was doing taking BS biology then. So those are the people that came later because I, I, I was really always feeling lonely. And I started praying, God should please, I want to see my people. I want to see them. I was just alone like that. So then we, when there was a problem of this ATM, I uh, we resort to monogram, and that time dollar to naira was uh, one hundred and forty to one fifty. It didn't change, but now I think one uh, five hundred and something. Mm -hmm. So we were really enjoying that time, mm -hmm. and the school fees then was uh, we were paying uh, about uh, twenty. About 25,000 pesos. Wow. So it was really a time to enjoy. Even house rent then was also cheap, very cheap, unlike now. So <laughs> then, so. Philippines, you had fun. Like, yeah. That was when it was, for me, I'll say that was when it was more fun <laughs> for foreigners in the Philippines. True. Okay, thank you so much, sir. And um, thank you. Um, for you now in the Philippines, you are still in the Philippines, Diba. This man, he can speak Tagalog. Yeah, <laughs> he can speak Tagalog. He's a godfather in this country, I'm telling Conte you, guys. Hey! <laughs> hey! He said Concealer. I don't believe mm. I don't believe that, sir, because I know he can speak Tagalog. He understands and flow well with them. Yeah. And um, also It's only Pangasinan and that one uh, is very hard. They use news to talk that like uh, <laughs> And to uh, <laughs> mangan manganla mangantila oh. those kind that is let's eat. Mm -hmm. uh, one like Tagalog, Tagalog for example, uh, let us eat is uh, kain mm -hmm. uh, So, but in Pangasinan, Ilukan is more deep. But I understand a few of that one. Pangasinan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's hard to speak. Mm -hmm. At least I can manage the Tagalog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can speak Tagalog. 
Do you have any um, advice for maybe people that that are looking forward to coming to the Philippines either for work or for um, study? Anyway, um, what I wanted to say concerning those who want to come to Philippines for whatever be the purpose, um, this country, the way we actually used to see, the people used to say Philippines is a very poor country and all that. The truth is, Philippines is not a poor country. You know, in some of our I, I'm not saying this just to uh, downgrade or look down on our people, of course, no. There are some uh, places that people used to flock today. They can't even eat three square meals a day. But in Philippines, you can, you eat, first of all, before, when you wake up, you eat. That one is not included in the meal. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, you can take coffee, you take bread, all those. Yes. Then you eat breakfast. They don't miss breakfast. They don't miss it. Even if you are in school or what, and mm. then it is time for lunch, mm. they will leave you there. In the office, they will leave you there exactly. and go and eat first. Let's mm. eat first. Mm. And they are good, generous in sharing their food. Yes. Uh -huh. So, they, after that lunch... They have mineral. Uh, the, the Miranda, that Miranda. one. Miranda. Mm -hmm. They call it Miranda. So you have to eat that one. If they call, Miranda is in between meal, so okay. it's not counted. Oh, it's not counted. No. Oh. Then after the, the breakfast, then lunch. After lunch, there is in between meals also. Sometimes mm -hmm. chicheria. There are the ones they call chicheria. You have to. Uh, those ones they can't count it, mm -hmm. but as as long as. They are concerned something must go to the mouth yes then with dinner do you know that after dinner there is what we call midnight snacks mm. again you have to eat that one so this mantra that they are poor it is not really good many it's not true they, uh, they are not that poor though there are some poor areas yeah uh, but we don't stereotype like generalizing yeah. uh, even in u.s and other countries there are Poor people, Poor people yeah. everywhere. So it's, even the scripture say it. The, the, it is a necessity. You must surely see poor people in yes. a place. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. I want to also encourage people who are, are in Nigeria or other places that it is not here. Also, coming to Philippines is not just bed of roses. That everybody. I just want to. See, there are some people here. They are finding it very difficult. Uh, if their life is better in Nigeria than coming out of the outside the country, it's just like that. So people should really know the reason why they are going to that place and uh, what they actually want to do and focus on that. Because once if you if you have a vision, you don't have a, um, a mission. You might really miss the road because it is the mission that give you it's like uh, the energy the reason why you should be doing that vision is a direction so those two are really needed in order for you to achieve your aim here you also have to because most, most, most times they have told people don't worry you just do this and that then you come to philippines you will get work there is no too much of work here also mm, i have to be sincere to you but uh, you just come pay one huge amount of money you will get work here and begin to work or from school this and that or schooling and working unless you have an online type of work but the school also these days it's not like before before you have to have your attendance on 24 hours like um, not really 24 hours because when you go back home you have to do assignments and all that so you may not even have time for work but these days there is online you can do some online. It's easy to get online work here and then use it to sustain your your life with what we have seen. But well, let me tell you also, there are a lot of opportunities here also. Somebody can um, enjoy at least your security. It's very important. And the 24 hours light, they know they take light here. Mm -hmm. mm. You cannot well, let me wait and recharge my phone before they will take light. If before they will take uh, a light here, you have they have to inform us. Exactly. Uh, and then in the next 30, 30 minutes it will be back yeah. and before then it's already back mm. 
our people used to travel, even our government also. Yeah. Our, they, knew, they used to travel. They see all these things, but they will not yes. bring it to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That is why our people brain drain. Even our doctors and are looking for a way, place to go. Mm -hmm. And our health system is uh, in shambles. So I, we need to grow up also. So that is just that, my dear. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so you. much, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. So um, one question just um, came to my mind now because some persons have been asking me this question mm -hmm. like um, for now nigerians are not allowed to come to the country yeah. to the philippines mm -hmm. so i want them to hear from your own uh, mouth i don't even know how to put it but i want to enlighten them more on um, people from nigeria coming to the philippines to study now uh, the truth is uh, because of this covid um, iatf restrictions People are not really coming in, even for study or anything. They are really regulating. The people that have access to come are those that are married here, or you have a Filipino wife or, and the children, you can come in. And though they have lifted now that free visa countries can come in for tourism, free visa countries. But for students, what they have to do is uh, get their admission and start schooling online. So it will be easy for them mm -hmm. to come in when IF visa will, uh, will be easy to apply. But for now, um, we are yet to know if um, in Nigeria they can issue visa now for students. Uh, unless maybe with one or two legs you have to walk uh -huh. and uh, you know all things are possible also in nigeria <laughs> but uh, it's not that easy now to allow uh, such uh, students to come in with nine f visa mm -hmm. it's only free visa countries that are coming in and they are also restricting and then of course you have to have your shots also mm -hmm. um, because very soon they will uh, they will be having fully vaccinated people to come in. So, or you have your PCR test within the, to enter here within um, 72 hours, mm -hmm. that kind of. So, but I am not, uh, with what I have uh, been able to inquire in embassy there, they have not started giving people the tourist student visa to come in mm -hmm. yet uh, but very soon very very soon they will start effacing that area for people to come in so for now if someone wants to apply for visa mm -hmm. or, or admission rather mm -hmm. they can apply get the admission letter and start schooling online. online i have some people that are schooling online mm -hmm. some of them one is about to finish her bs biology online so with that result we don't it will just be one way during the time they are going to apply not even two or three people that are doing that now so with their grades they are getting their grade of course they are paying their school fees they are taking their lectures online once uh, some of these restrictions are being fully lifted it is one way because they have their grade they will use it and make the application mm -hmm. while the their apostle will be sent to them other requirements like um, um, police clearance, uh, authentication in DFA in Nigeria, and the Ministry of Education, their and their uh, um, statement of account, of course, with a sponsorship um, stuff about who will sponsor your the sponsorship letter that is written by a lawyer. You authenticate those, and then it is easy to come in. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sir. For those that have been asking, you've heard from our father here that you are not allowed to come to the Philippines for now. So continue your classes online and just meet with the requirements. So when the time comes, it will not be that difficult for you to get your visa and come straight to the Philippines. And again, you've heard it from his own mouth again. Philippines is not that poor. The way some people used to say Philippines is poor, or from what they Google online, Philippines is at least a place you can 
be and live comfortably well right sir yeah even the cost of living also, yeah. it's not that it's just similar to nigeria mm. Mm, it's not that much yeah. i remember in those days when we don't have all our things here unlike now everywhere is you can even get both Igusi, you can get yeah. everything in Nigeria, you can have it here. But then, when we were cooking with granite, <laughs> we blend that with Igusi type. Yeah. Alright, thank you so much, sir. And um, guys, if you must know, he also runs an African restaurant in the city where I am staying, and that's also the city where they stay. He's already married. I mentioned this before. He's a husband. He's married here in the Philippines. He got a lot of achievements here in the Philippines, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to share it with us, sir. He got a lot of achievements. I can say it on his behalf. He married here in the Philippines. The wife schooled here in the Philippines. He schooled here in the Philippines. And they run an African restaurant together here in the Philippines. So if anytime you come to the Philippines, you are in Dagupan City or wherever you are and you need um, African food or things from Africa, Nigerian stuff, just feel free to contact them and it will be delivered to you. You feel at home even while in the Philippines. Thank you so much, sir. I think with all this, we've come to the end of this video. I'm really blessed and honored to have him on this channel. I contacted him and immediately he obliged without any problem, you know. I pray that God will bless you and your family. Please, please, in the comment section, feel free to help me thank him for gracing this channel. And if you have any question for him, feel free to leave it in the comment section, it will be delivered to him.